What's up ladies and gents? Today's video is going to be about how to use the sun, as in the big shiny thing in the sky, to induce more lucid dreams. So bear with me with this, it's going to sound a bit weird, um, but I promise you this works. This is the most natural and I guess you could say healthy way of having lucid dreams because not only will uh, this technique give you more uh, lucid dreams, better sleep, uh, but as a, as a sort of side effect of all of that, you're going to notice that you feel better. This is going to improve your immune system. It's really the way that we are designed to function as human beings. And it has to do with the sun and how the earth moves. Like, so let me explain it like this. It comes down to your circadian rhythm. Almost everything comes down to your circadian rhythm because your sleep is a force multiplier, meaning that if you are trying to write a book, right? Or if you're trying to learn a song on your guitar, if you're trying to study for an exam, if you're trying to advance in your job and in your career, the one biggest thing that will make everything else you do seem uh, more effective is your sleep. The quality of your sleep and the sleep habits that you have. So what I mean by that is when uh, you wake up and when you go to sleep. In relation to when the sun rises and falls uh, or sets. So this is really an important thing to bear in mind. The circadian rhythm is something which has been determining when we go to sleep for thousands of years. But only recently, only in like the last sort of few hundred years, have we manually, uh, artificially kept ourselves awake in the, in the evenings. You know, we've got uh, TV shows to watch, we've got laptops to tap away on, we've got phones to check and all of these things keep us awake because they put the, the blue light in the screens goes into your eyes and forces your, makes your body secrete more serotonin which is your wake up hormone and less melatonin which is the hormone that naturally makes you feel sleepy during the evening, it makes you feel ready for bed and it shuts down your systems and you know makes you sleepy and makes you tired. So the answer is that in the evenings, you need to limit your exposure to blue light, turn off your screens at least an hour before bed, blah, blah, blah. You've heard me say that before. But then in the mornings, and this is where something I haven't really spoken about much, right? The other side of this, the flip side of the evening routine is the morning routine, right? And we're designed as humans to wake up early with the sun and go like move. We're designed to build massive momentum in the morning. We're designed, I guess, from when we used to be hunters and we used to have to run and catch our food for the day because if we didn't, we starved and we died. Uh, whatever the reason is, um, and studies have been done to show this, it's not just me waffling on, um, we are designed and function best when we wake up in the morning with the sunrise and then go out and emerge into the world. We go out and do things, exercise, talk, shout, run, laugh, eat, right? We're not designed to stay in bed past 12 o'clock in the afternoon and, you know, hang around the house doing much of nothing. So what I'm saying is you need to make sure that you not only have a bedtime routine, but also a morning routine. Maybe you go to the gym, and go for a small walk. You don't even have to go to the gym. You can just go for a walk, right? But what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that throughout the day, the more activity you pack into your day, the more things you do, and the more you go out there and do things in the world with your life in the day, the more melatonin is going to be created throughout the day. Meaning when it comes to the time to sleep, when it comes to the evening, you're going to pass out like a baby, right? And you're going to have a really deep sleep. And this all comes back to your sleep quality. You're going to have a higher quality sleep. It's going to feel better. It's going to do more good for you. Your immune system will be stronger and all you've done really the only thing the only secret trick you've done here is you've just aligned your natural sleep pattern with the pattern that it should be aligned with the sun right you've just woken up when the sun rises gone out and done your done your stuff exercised whatever and then you've gone to sleep in the evening you've you've gradually turned off the blue light as you get ready for bed and that's all you need to do. It's one of the most simple, literally one of the most simple things you can do. Okay. And yet so many guys are, you know, trying to lucid dream or trying to do whatever it is, trying to work out, build muscle or advance in their career, study for some exam. 
And the one simple thing that would make everything else much more effective and easy is your sleep. But, you know, there's a lot of mentality around, um, especially the entrepreneur community, where people say, oh, you need to hustle all the time. You know, you need to grind 24 hours a day. Don't sleep. Sleep's for the week. But that makes you stupid, okay? And when you deprive yourself of sleep or high-quality sleep, and when you start shifting your cycles back just to pack more hours into the day, uh, you know, it just makes you stupid and it makes you less effective. And you you don't realise that you're less effective because you're sleep deprived, because you're exhausted and you have chronic fatigue. Uh, so, and I'm speaking from experience, I used to be like that and I am working very hard to change that and I'm pretty solid in my sleep routine now. Um, but it's easily done, right? We have a lot of things to do and it's very easy to say, oh, I'll just stay up till one, two, three in the morning, get it done when really the best thing to do with whatever it is you're doing, okay, is just to go to sleep and do it in the morning because you'll be much more effective, you'll feel better, your immune system, blah, 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 all the other benefits, I've said them before. So if you want a really simple way, okay, of having better lucid dreams and all the other benefits, I'm not going to list them again, um, just align your sleep pattern with that of the sun. And that's really all there is to it. Now, if you're looking for something else to do, and you don't want to wait till my video tomorrow, I've just released a new book, and it's called 100 Things to Do in a Lucid Dream. You can find it on Amazon, uh, if you just type in things to do in a lucid dream. Uh, you'll see the nice cover with the yellow yellow and white wording, I believe. Uh, so I'd really appreciate it if you would like to get that. It's going to be on a, a lower price for like a week or two. So it really is like a, a, a long, detailed series of like unique hand-picked activities and ideas that I've collected over my years of lucid dreaming, which will open your mind and expand your consciousness to new levels, right? It's going to take you to a new level because there are so many lists out there saying, oh yeah, have a lucid dream, fly, have sex, explore an alien planet, but that's really just scratching the surface. That's really just like child's play. There's a lot more you can do, and more specifically, there's more you can do that will actually improve your mind, rather than just sort of having a bit of fun, which there's nothing wrong with that, but yeah, so I'm not going to go on about it. There are There's a whole world out there uh, in your dreams to be discovered, and I've created a book that will help you get there, so if you do fancy supporting me, get it at the discounted price on Amazon, type in things to do in a lucid dream, I'll also put a link in the description. If you do get it, please leave me a quick review on Amazon because it's very hard as a new author, so especially a self-published author, self-funded author, to get any sort of traction on Amazon because there simply aren't any reviews on new books. So if you liked these videos, please go ahead and do that, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like.